Good, sir. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to present the study design for our FDC combination, cetagliptin, glimepiride, metformin against the uh, co-administered metformin and glimepiride in uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus patients. So this is a phase 3 design. So in terms of my presentation flow, uh, we will cover the overall scenario of the diabetic patients. Uh, what is the need? What is the therapeutic justification for combination of this particular therapy? And the details of the study design, uh, which we are uh, presenting today. So in terms of the Indian patient, when we look at the average HB1C level, it is almost 8.9% in most of the patient. And uh, the target is not achieved in two thousand of the patients. And that is the reason uh, most of the patient are on the multiple drug therapy. And when we talk about the multiple drug therapy, adherence is one of the most important parameter which needs to be taken into consideration when we talk about the glycemic control. And that is where this vicious cycle starts that patient is on multiple drug therapy and the adherence is a problem and then it leads to non-reaching the target glycemic control. So in terms of the data, when we look at the meta-analysis meta of the data also, there we have seen that uh, the patient, those who are using the combination therapy are achieving the uh, target HB1AC level better than the those who are achieving the, uh, those who are using the drugs in a, a co-administered fashion. And that is where uh, when we talk about the common drugs used for the initial therapy of the diabetes like cetagliptin and metformin, uh, we, we, we have seen that still this patient require add-on therapy and then uh, initially the patient on metformin and glimepiride and later we have to add another drug. And that is where there is a need for a drug which will give us the uh, add-on therapy and give us the option in terms of a, a, a how to improve the adherence and that is where we come up with the FDC for cetagliptin, metformin and glimepiride. Now when we talk about the glimepiride, glimepiride is a, a, like a, one of the oldest drugs, sulfonylureas, good in terms of the insulin secretion and gets us to the, uh, but when we increase the dose of glimepiride in a graded fashion, later on we see that there is a progressive beta cell dysfunction. Now. If we give a hypothesis that if we can reduce the dose of glimepiride and add the cetagliptin and if we can achieve the similar glycemic control and compliance, that will be a good. And that is where uh, we thought of this particular study design where we are adding the cetagliptin, glimepiride and metformin and on the other side we are trying to reduce the glimepiride level. So the advantage with this particular thing is cetagliptin uh, other than the uh, other than the uh, like uh, insulin uh, secretion it acts on the glucagon level also and that is where the beta cell uh, function can be preserved so these are the added advantage with this combination so when we talk about the uh, therapeutic rationale also so ada guidance and several guidance rsdd also says that combination therapy is required when you don't achieve the target glycemic control uh, for the patient that is 1.5 times you know. so uh, i will go to the study design because of the shortage of the time so in terms of the study protocol we designed this particular study this is a phase 3 study this is a comparative active control double blind double dummy study where we are assessing the safety and efficacy of this FDC combination against the co-administered drug that is metformin and glimepiride. So total 392 patients we are taking in this study and the duration of the study will be 30 weeks. So uh, in terms of the study objective as I highlighted efficacy and safety. So safety is a paramount importance when we are doing this phase 3 study. So taste product, the FDC combination where uh, cetagliptin 50 mg, uh, metformin 1000 mg and glimepiride is 1 milligram. So uh, this is the combination and uh, these are the endpoints that efficacy endpoints and safety endpoints. So when we talk about the study design, you can see that the patient, those who are already on the glimepiride and metformin combination taking daily dose of almost uh, 2000 metformin and 4 milligram of glimepiride will be randomized to receive the FDC combination where the glimepiride is only 1 gram, 1 milligram. And the patient will be followed up for the next 16 weeks to see what is the improvement in terms of the uh, diabetes control or uh, HB1AC target. And uh, you can see that we have included the DSMB review as well as the uh, as well as the open level phase when we are tracking this patient if they require any up titration. So uh, continuous monitoring of the patient will be done and uh, we will look for the additional uh, parameters in terms of the safety. So these are the inclusion criteria for the study. 
So here we are taking 8 to 11 percentage of HbA1c and the patient those who are already on the stable dose for uh, glimepiride and metformin uh, 10 weeks prior to screening. These are the key exclusion criteria. In terms of the safety monitoring, because this is one of the concern that we are adding one more drug to the existing uh, dual drug therapy. So here we are giving the glucometer to individual patients and we are asking them to track the blood glucose level and we are asking them to record in a patient diary so that uh, we can uh, assess the events of the hypoglycemia and this particular data will be presented to uh, DSMB committee and based on their assessment uh, that uh, future uh, trial will be taken. So this is an ongoing study and we have seen the encouraging results in our initial uh, 120 patients data because we have uh, initially targeted only 120 patient uh, and based on the uh, safety review of this data we are going ahead with the rest of the patient. So uh, in terms of the overall uh, benefit if you see for this particular combination so better HbA1c control for the patient impact, overall healthcare impact. If you target the HbA1c AC level strictly, then you can uh, avoid the CV complication and it will overall reduce the uh, burden on the healthcare. So totally in terms of all these three aspects, it will provide a better alternative in terms of the compliance as a triple drug therapy and better glycemic control in an uncontrolled diabetic patient and especially in Indian scenario where the patient on glimepiride dose with high doses of glimepiride. This will be an option where you can reduce the dose and you can uh, uh, give the, achieve the similar kind of HbA1c reduction.